That was Erica Badu, Next Lifetime. So, again, America's faced with the problem of racism. Um, and we have, let's be honest, we have been firing, people have been, white people have been getting fired for saying something racist since Jimmy the Greek or Howard Cassell. You know, they've been, they've been, this has been going on for a long time and nothing's changed. Look at the last uh, couple of months. What are the biggest stories, the stories that uh, imbued themselves in the country's psyche? A, a black girl falling asleep at Yale and having the police call on her. Two black dudes sitting in Starbucks and having the police call on them. Black people barbecuing and having the police call on them. Because racism exists. It has always existed. We've been firing white people since Jimmy the Greek, since Howard Cosell, since Al Campanis, and nothing has changed. Do you know why? Because what we do is fire the person and say the problem solved. Every time there's something like in a police department or, or a fast food joint, they fire the restaurant and pretend like it's all solved. But we never get to the underlying problem. The underlying problem is that we are a racist nation who has never come to grips with our past, and we doubled down on racism when we got Donald Trump. That's just the truth. It's, it's ironic that we come out with these statements and we say every time something happens, from Al Campanis to Jimmy the Greek to Howard Cosell, these don't reflect our attitudes. This, they don't reflect the values of our corporation, of our country. It, it absolutely does. Let me ask you something. If it didn't reflect the values of, the, of a corporation or companies, how does it keep happening? ABC said this is, this is uh, you know, aberrant and this is repugnant and it doesn't reflect our values. Well, that's the same company that hired uh, Rush Limbaugh, who was fired for racism, and Roseanne, who was fired for racism. Don't tell me it doesn't reflect your values. It very much does. Nothing is more American than racism. And we have to stop pretending like it doesn't exist. And the most expedient way to do that is to get rid of the person instead of getting rid of the atmosphere that fostered that. This air of superiority. That somebody owes you something. You know, black people are sinning and virtually every other ethnicity is sinning because you said, well, you pull yourself by your bootstraps. We didn't, and now you got people who, who, we did, and now we got people who didn't trying to hold everybody back. Well, and they and they make all kinds of excuses. Ambien calls it race reason. No, no, I think I think you're thinking of nigger troll. I don't know. I don't think Ambien causes racism, but I know being a Trump supporter does. You always make all of these excuses. The bottom line is we are a racist nation who never come. We are a racist nation who never takes all our medicine. It's like if you being diagnosed with something and they say we can get rid of it if we just finish the course, but we never do. We never finish our ZPAC. We just fire the person and say it's all better. And then we say, we give platitudes like this doesn't reflect who we are. If it didn't reflect who we are, why does it keep happening? Why has it been happening? Why will it always happen? If it didn't reflect who we are, why did, we, why did, why did America elect a dude they know is racist? They know it to be true. You think because you, you, you elected a black president... And then all of a sudden, and, but let's be clear, it wasn't the majority of white people that uh, elected Donald Trump. It was the others, and that's what they couldn't take. It was everybody else got together and did that. A few, yeah, some white people did, but, but collectively, more white people voted against them than for them. That's true. It was a decision the country made, and they couldn't stand being left out of the party, and this is the result of it. 65% of, of Americans believe that racism is a problem, and that ain't counting black and brown and Asian people. We have a problem, and the problem is that we have a, we're have a racist society who does not want to take his medicine and come to grips with who we are. Because those are your fathers and your neighbors and your uncles. And they're funny at parties, but that's exactly who they are. That's exactly who they are. We, and every time we write it off as a teachable moment. Let me ask you something. Exactly how many teachable moments does America need before we actually learn? That's a little note from the GED section. We got the jazz report coming up in 15 minutes. It's the DLU.